guys, how are you? I turned the corner and I think the sun's on the lens. Oh well, life goes on. Uh, I just like to start this vlog off by thanking every single one of you guys for all your amazing uh, support and comments uh, in the last couple of videos on giving me ideas for uh, places to go to this winter uh, with by myself, do a solo camp thing, or with Carol, we'll bring moose down. But uh, again, I want to try and continue to bike ride. You know what's interesting? Up where I live, there's still lots of snow. Down here, nothing. Well, just a little bit in the fields, but nothing on the roads. A little bit like this much on the side of the ditch area but they got way less snow than we did. So uh, anyway, so I just want to thank you guys for uh, all your amazing uh, ideas of where to go. Uh, I've put them all on a list and we'll kind of go through them all and figure out which ones we want to do more than others uh, for time, distance, uh, attractiveness of the, of the, they all look great by the way. Uh, but again, there's only so much time in our lives to do all these things. So today, uh, it's Thursday morning, it's 10.25. I am on my way to do uh, another food video for you guys. And uh, I'll probably have it edited and put up tomorrow. Um, but it's the uh, onagiri, onagiri. That's how you say onagiri, which is the rice balls or rice triangles uh, down at the Pacific Mall. Uh, today we actually had scheduled to do the um, rust proofing of moose and we were both gonna go down drop it off because I think when we originally talked to the rust proofing company uh, they I th I'm not sure where I got this from but they, I think they said it was gonna take five hours because they washed the whole van down wash all the debris off it underneath the carriage everything get all the salt and garbage off the bottom and then they spray everything uh, our van has been sprayed before like before we bought it the company who owned it actually did a pretty good job at trying to keep it as nice as they have uh, so they actually put a 3m film on the front along the top they had it rust proofed so that's probably why it's 2017 so it shouldn't be rusting at all it's got a few rust spots on it uh, we had a, a company look at it but the price was way out of our range so uh, either we're gonna just do it ourselves um, or I don't know we're gonna have to do it ourselves probably because it's way too much money like way too much money anyway so uh, Carol said well she phoned them and asked them again how long it's gonna take and they're gonna say about an hour so Carol said well instead of us both sitting there or us driving down dropping moose off going all the way home me grabbing rusty then going all the way back down to Markham to shoot the video uh, she said I'll just take it and I'm like okay so thanks Carol for uh, volunteering to do that and uh, I can go and get a, a food video done and uh, keep this keep this and the other channel going and uh, again this has been a very good month for views subscribers pretty much everything and all your amazing comments. I need to get over because the highway is coming up. Right now we're in Newmarket and I'm, just, I'm on Leslie coming up to the 404 which takes me down to Markham. When I got home last night, I made my big salad once again. This time I added a whole avocado. Uh, there were start, it's funny because when I, when I get the avocados from uh, Costco, they're usually hard about a day or two later if we leave them on the counter uh, they start to get soft I put them in the fridge immediately and when I take the first one out a lot of times you go to cut it and it's still kind of hard in the middle and you're like ah oh. and then maybe two more days later uh, they get softer but it's amazing how they go from green to starting to get black on the inside really quickly so um, the ones I got from the store yesterday uh, everything was edible inside they just weren't that like perfect green from you know you see those pictures of avocado on the internet and they're just perfect green mine were not perfect green there there was most of it was green but there was all the black uh which is just over riped 
avocado. So I had my whole avocado with my cremini mushrooms and all my nuts and seeds and, and uh, flax seed and, and a huge bowl of lettuce. And then I had, uh, I cut that piece of salmon into three and eat, I, I can't believe it. I'm like, okay, I'm kind of guessing at where I want it. And almost every one I weighed was around six to seven ounces, which is about 100, uh, sorry, 420 calories per piece of fish. Uh, so I have the other two that are laid out ready for the next couple days. But again, I'm doing a food review today. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna eat of the food, uh, but we are probably gonna have another salad tonight. I'm gonna try and make sure that's part of my routine from now going forward. And, uh, but we have, my like all, the windshield's messy. Here's another problem. Uh, the windshield washer fluid nozzle is broken so that one works perfectly fine of course the passenger side that nobody ever sits there is working perfectly fine this one's broken and it's popped either gone right inside uh, or the actual, actual nozzle itself broke off and it's gone and uh, so I'm gonna have to go to a Chrysler dealer to see if they have a new nozzle uh, I'm not sure if I can fix it I should be able to but I'll have to probably watch a YouTube video on how to fix that right now it just goes sprays it along the bottom it does it does clear it a little bit like especially when I'm on the highway it's it's just blowing over the car and it's so it's cleaning my windshield but when you're at a standstill it just kind of so it doesn't do this side of the windshield very well I uh, will call Carol see how long it took them to do the uh, rust proofing and uh, and uh, moose will be all set to go for the winter we're, we're going to do it earlier but we phoned them too late and their whole fall was booked up and this was the earliest we could get in. They asked us if we did any off-roading lately. Nope. I guess they charge more for that that one person that brings in their vehicle and it's just all mud covered. Uh, Cause that's just not nice. Anyway. All right, let's get down to Markham and get this video done. All done here in Markham at the Pacific Mall. Now it's time to go home. I'm probably gonna quickly Chuck, Carol sent me a text and uh, I'm not sure if the van's ready. I guess they have a special on or something. Uh, we can get 10% off or free floor mats with the Sprinter. And Carol was saying, which one? So I prefer the discount because uh, I want to get my own um, floor mats. I want to be able to see them before I buy them or get them for free and then never use them. If you're like me, let me know in the comments below. All right, let's move on. Let's get out of here. So in that video, I uh, asked people for a thumbs up. If we get 2,000 thumbs up on that video, uh, I'm gonna come back and do the Peking duck. I haven't had Peking duck in a very long time. I definitely know I have had it. Uh, not at a restaurant like that, where they serve it on a platter and it's all like this. Uh, it was probably part of a seafood or probably a part of a you know a family gathering and somebody ordered Peking duck and I probably tried it. I remember when we were really young, my parents took us to Hawaii and uh, went to a Chinese uh, food place and it was on an actual uh, boat. And I think that, it, it, I'm not sure if it was a real boat or they just made it look like a boat and it was on the, on the wharf. And uh, it was like an old Chinese junk as they call it. And uh, I just remember, I think I used to love duck a l'orange. And uh, that was good, I love duck. So I think I might have had it back then. So as you can see, zero snow down here in Markham. It's like they didn't, they didn't get any of that storm. But uh, what I'm hoping for, because it's, I think it's six degrees Celsius, seven degrees on the car. And uh, I'm hoping it gets up to that temperature up where we are. So that first initial snow melts off and uh, we can kind of start from scratch. Now that I got my snow blower started, that was funny. I'm like, pull, pull, oh, right, the, the starter. I've had that snow blower for more than 10 years and probably within the first three years, I wrecked the starter motor by accident. I pressed, it turns, 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 turns. And then when you let go, if you press again too quickly, the teeth hit the engine that's kind of turning and shaves all the teeth off. 
and it wouldn't start after that. You could just hear all this metal breaking inside. And since then, I've brought it in for a couple tune-ups and to fix a couple things. And I think the guys, I did ask them to fix it and they said, oh, they don't make that part anymore. Uh, they discontinued that model and they don't make that part anymore. But I'm thinking one of the times that they had it, they fixed it. Like one of the guys probably couldn't start it and then realized it was broken and fixed it. I don't remember ever being charged for it. And uh, one time, I don't know what it was, I just thought I'd try it, plugged it in and it worked again. It's one of those weird things that happens. I don't recall it getting fixed, but it's fixed. Which is better than breaking my back trying to pull on that cord. Doing a cold start in the middle of a snowstorm. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, we will see you in the next vlog. Thanks for all the support, ciao.